Hello and welcome to my State of the Collection Casio Edition review. As we all know, Casio is the best brand in the world, so let's get to it. My Casio collection consists of the classic FW, uh, sorry, F91W. I mean, no Casio collection is complete without the $9, $10 watch. It is amazing. It is the classic. The classic Casio. It does it all. Battery operated. No solar. But, yep, lovely. Usually I like uh, solar operated watches. And ideally also with, um, with Bluetooth, so I don't have to set them manually. Um, anyhow, so this is the solar operated um, Bamford Special Edition watch. As you can see here with a nice close so nice with the, yeah yeah glows with uh, blue when you when you click on it and it's a bit hard to read without the backlight and the Bamford special edition square I love it though it's a I like to wear it very funky in the same color scheme you have here <laughs> the night safari pro track uh, also solar powered three um, three sensors it's a really cool watch. I don't know if you can see the light. It's a glowing green blue. It's really, really cool. And it has uh, loomed insides, which looks absolutely phenomenal at night. When it's fully charged, it looks like your, your wrist is glowing. I love this watch. This is a carbon core, a really, really nice and rugged for my outdoor adventures. Then the Casio, the the classic Casio. Oops, the wrong way down. Uh, up. This is the the, <laughs> the biggest problem with this watch is actually you can't really read the time that well because it's really dark. Um, again, the the Casio, right? The black on black. Love it. I have the normal Casio with the white dial, and I have gotten this uh, from AliExpress. This <laughs> Royal Oak look-alike bracelet case thing and I just uh, put the watch in and it looks just fantastic and uh, the quality of this this, um, this this case and the, the bracelet is actually fantastic it's a gen 3 uh, third generation of the stuff it's super easy to put the watch in and it just gives it such a cool vibe it's uh, it's different I like it so and it's fully reversible so you can always put it back on the standard strap and case so Really cool. And the latest one here is the transparent one. And this is the one of the most transparent uh, wrist, no, sorry, bracelets that I've ever seen. I uh, hope it doesn't turn yellow over time, like so many of them do. Um, yeah, and let me show you on the wrist. Let me put off this one here. Um, if you put it on the wrist, you can see that sometimes the transparency can be a bit, uh, well, I don't know, ugly. <laughs> it looks lovely uh, in person, but uh, if you have it on your wrist, especially if you have a hairy wrist like me, you can see some flattened hair. <laughs> Not so sure if that's so nice, but yeah, I, I think it's still a cool watch. I like it. Anyway, uh, let me just keep that on. All right, let's go back. What else do we have? The non-GMW square, uh, GMW 5000 squares. This is one where I put an aftermarket golden bezel on. It was a black one. Black with the, the cool bracelet. Really nice. I like that. Very comfortable. Bluetooth and solar. The same here. Bluetooth and solar with this, uh, with a golden inlay. Please, I did not prepare the proper um, Serial, uh, not serial numbers, uh, problem model numbers, so uh, I, I really don't even mention them because I might be wrong. So, very nice as well. Um, and then here we have this Casio, that's the Tai Chi special version of this one. Also carbon core, lovely Bluetooth and solar powered, the way I like it, with this designed bracelet, black on black. Very nice, but I am not really bonding with it. So I am going to sell it. Coming to the real squares, the one that started it all, this one. Um, well, 
it's just so comfortable and so nice and chunky it's a bit blingy but i just love it and this is as you can see i wore a lot out of it so there's a lot of scratches everywhere um but it's just a perfect perfect watch i loved it and that started my love for the metal squares so this ended up then in getting a couple of them so i have this one the metal version with a with a negative display and the rubber strap very comfortable then the very same model in black with a positive display also with a rubber strap but the metal metal head then the vintage ip with a negative display um it's a it's a lovely case it looks really really nice on the wrist as well i had a small scratch so it was a bit sanded here so yeah, it has a small blemish but hey it's supposed to look vintage so that's cool um then going here i have the whole golden one it's it's uh, it's uh, it is the the full gold with a full gold bracelet but i switched this into this uh, with this um, original color bracelet just because i felt it was a bit too golden a bit too much and this tones it down a bit with this uh, rubber strap but i can also put the bracelet back on yeah go just for completeness sake then of course one of the later ones this red one red metal one i wasn't so sure about it but then actually it doesn't look that bad on the on the wrist when you wear it and it has a bit of the satin feel it, it it looks as if it's smooth and silky it does actually even feel a bit like that so it's a very very interesting uh interesting color and see if you in the reflection here it even looks a bit pinkish sometimes so you have to be a real man to pull this off yeah so that's good i love that as well and then i have here the last one of the metal ones the tron also it's just a lovely design and it uh, actually wears the same as all the others but uh, it feels very very different from with, with this design it has a very very different vibe and i love that as well and then let's go here into the titanium we have the black camouflage titanium the negative display with the golden bushes it's a lovely watch um, also looks pristine even though i wore it a few times no scratches whatsoever i love it and so light these titanium versions and the black version this is here the stealth or stealth wealth because it just looks like a completely box standard Casio wouldn't know that this one is quite a bit more expensive than this one here, right? So it just is titanium, matte black. Um, you see a bit of this polishing in the between the the links. It's a beautiful watch. It's so comfortable and it's so under the radar. I love that two bits. That's probably my most favorite um, square. So incoming, I have the black metal version of this one with a negative display and um, the rose gold version with a positive display. So basically the same watch as this one, if you imagine it had a golden bracelet, but not in yellow gold, but in rose gold and with a positive display. I'm, I'm sure I will like the rose gold one a lot as well. So let's see, that's coming from Japan as we speak. All right, so that's it at the moment. These are my Casio G-Shock squares and some not squares. And yeah, ending it again with this lovely light blue bamford. Have a good time. Eh, eh, eh. If I could press the right one. Yeah, there we go. Bye bye. See you.